This is calculator question number 38, the last problem from the March 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a word problem relating three numbers. They tell us y is 20% greater than x, and z is 20% less than y, and then they say z is how many times x. It's tempting to say 1, but that turns out not to be correct. Always work slowly and carefully, especially on the last problem, there may be a subtle trick that tempts you to make an error. For this type of problem, I like to make up a number, and I'm going to choose a value for x, since that what we, that's what we start with, and then we add 20% to that to get y. I'm going to choose 100, because we're good at percents of 100. 20% of 100 would be 20, and we want to be 20% greater, so y is 20% greater is 120. I could also do that on my calculator, 0.2 times 100, and then add that to 100. So I now know that x is 100, y is 120, and z is 20% less. If I take 0 0.2 times 120, I get 24, and I'll be less than, by that much to get z. z equals 120 minus 24 is 96. Now that's the value for the numbers I made up, but since this has an answer, no matter what numbers I make up, I should get the same value of the ratio. Z equals some number times X and if I divide both sides by X, I get Z over X equals something where the something is the number they're looking for. So 96 over 100 is of course 0.96 and that's the answer they wanted. If you're unsure why it should not come out the same, think about larger percentages. Suppose we made this 100% greater. Y is 100% greater than x. In that case, if x equals 100, we get y equals 200. Now z is, I'm going to use this the same percentage as I used here, z is 100% less than y. If y is 200 and z is 100% less than 200, z equals 0. And we see that the 100% greater only adds 100, but the 100% less subtracts 200. If we add a percentage from our starting value and then we subtract the same percentage from our new value, the amount we're subtracting is larger than the amount we added. We end up with a smaller number, and College Board has asked this question several times before. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.